What's up everyone, we're doing some Konar Slayer today as we usually do on Monday. On today's episode we have fire giants in the catacombs of Karen. This is actually not my first fire giant video so I'll link all of my other ones down below if you want to take a look at those. But since we're doing Konar Slayer and we have to kill him in the catacombs of Karen, let's hop into what gear we're taking and why I'm picking it. Alright, so fire giants really aren't strong or weak to any particular combat style. I'm just going to choose range because I know there's a safe spot there and I just kind of want to level it since I'm close to 99 so that's why I'm picking it. You really don't have to go with anything fancy when you're killing fire giants with range, so I just have the best gear I can afford. I do want to say that the magic shortbow imbued is actually better than a crossbow in terms of DPS. I did come across a pretty interesting reddit post on it, so I'll link it down below if you want to read it for yourself, but I'm like a, a firm believer now in magic shortbows over crossbows for most situations. Of course if you didn't want to pick range, I'll throw down some other options now. I would say taking melee prayer gear is also very viable here, it's probably the second best option besides safe spotting range. But as always, of course, you can just pick whatever you want to, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Moving over into inventory, it's also not too complicated, which is nice. I'll have a few ranged potions with me. If you want to shell out for divine ranging potions, you can surely do that. I just didn't feel like spending the money because I'm cheap. I am going to take a few lobsters with me just in case I take some accidental hits. When you're setting the safe spot up before the fire giants become unaggressive, it can be possible to be hit. It's not too much to worry about though, I'll show you when we get there. So I'm also going to have a bone crusher in my inventory. Whenever you're in the catacombs of Karen, if you do bury a bone, you're going to get some prayer restored to you. It's so funny because I'll see people praying melee and camping prayer gear, but they won't be burying bones. I'm like, dude, dude, it's going to save you so much in prayer potions over the course of the task. Just do it. <laughs> so definitely bring a bone crusher if you have one. Even if not, just bury them manually. I know it's a little tedious, but you get prayer. You know, why wouldn't you want to get some prayer? But beyond that, we're just going to have a gem bag, an herb sack, you know, some alcohol runes in the rune pouch, and a teleport out with the house teleport. So getting to the catacombs of Karen can be a little involved if you don't have a lot of unlocks yet, if you're like a lower level account. If it's your first time in Karen at all, you must talk to Vias at Port Sarim and take his ship over to the Piscarillius port here and then just run over to the dungeon. The fastest ways there would be a Zeric Talisman Heart Teleport or just a regular Karen Teleport, but both of those are locked behind some requirements. I know before I had any of that unlocked myself, I would go to a house party world and use someone's portal room, so I just recommend that if you don't have the regular teleports to get you right inside. Anyway, once you go inside the dungeon, you just have to go down south, then run to the left, then go up this way, and the fire giants will be on the ridge up here. It is actually possible to go this way, and then there's a little path right here you can take up, but there is a mining blockage there, so you need to bring a pickaxe if you want to take that path. It's really not that big of a deal just going down and using this one instead. Okay, so we're down here in the safe spot now. The main objective is to get a fire giant stuck right here on the edge of the corner so they're not able to come and attack you. So by doing that, you actually block this one also from coming over and hitting you. You don't want to kill either two of these, you just kind of want to poach the ones down below. After 10 minutes though, the fire giants won't be aggressive so you can kill those or just kill one of them and then just only tag the ones down here. You know, if you mess it up a little bit, you need to run back and forth to position this guy correctly. You can turn on protect from melee. Because remember, if you bury a bone, you get your prayer back, so you don't have to worry too much about not having prayer. But that's pretty much it. There's no superiors, nothing crazy going on, so the timer's already started. I'm going to see you at the end of this one. Alright guys, so that's the end of the task. It only took an hour and three minutes, so it's really not too bad. Looking at our profit, 100k. It's not the best really, it's not really that great at all. But we did get three ancient shards and two brimstone keys, so I think that can help out a little bit. As it turns out, we didn't get the best keys either, but it was a pretty chill task overall, so I can't complain. So, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. As I'm sure most of you guys are aware, a new quest does drop later this week. I want to have a guide out as soon as possible for it, so expect that on Thursday or Friday. But that's it, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video.